we have a sale at a store and we want to know I'm going right to the last sentence what percentage of the original price do you end up paying so it's not asking what's the total discount it's what's the remaining part that you actually end up paying uh, I'm gonna throw away the second part for a minute and we're just gonna focus on the first sentence here the store is clearance items marked down by 30%. So 30% discount, what that means, we pay the remaining 70%. We can do the sub subtraction in our head, but where did 70 come from? It's the complement to 30% to give you 100, which means you can write 70 as 100 minus 30. So it's the complementary percentage, the one that adds to 100, and that's how you can get 70%. So if this is the only uh, sale going on, we would pay 70%, that, and we would be done. However, there's a second sale, or an additional sale, advertising an additional 60% off clearance items. Now, what that means is we get a lot off. We still pay 40%. And of course, that 40 is 100 minus 60. And we get both of these discounts. Um, and so we're paying 40% of 70%. And to compute this, you're going to multiply them together. And whenever you're going to multiply, you need to turn them into numbers, decimals. So move that decimal place over 0 0.40 times 0 0.70. You don't need to put the second, uh, the, the zero after the digit if you don't want to. 0.28. And turn that back into a percentage. We have 28%. And that is the answer we were looking for.